Uh, Pastor McKissick sent a text to us this week and asked us to share some information with you about someone that's very special to Cornerstone. Uh, this past Wednesday night, Charles Clary went home to be with the Lord. And, you know, the Bible says that we don't mourn like those that have no hope. And I, we know that he heard, well done, good and faithful servant, when he got to heaven. Hold on, I need my glasses on. I asked Sister McKissick to stand with me just to get, make sure that I have all my facts straight. But, you know, Jan, I'm, no, not Jan and I, I met Pastor um, Clary before I ever knew Cornerstone. Um, we moved to Texas in 1978. And in that, that fall, I put my three-year-old Eric into the Tate Springs Baptist Church Preschool. And I got to meet the pastor of Tate Springs. Um, time won't allow me to tell you what I thought of that man and tell you about him. Just know that he was a mighty man of God. He loved Jesus, and he loved people. So um, I, um, we, we, oh, I said that. So, all right, Bernie. Um, and so we met, I met him in 80 and 78, but in 1983, that's when Cornerstone was birthed in the McKissick's garage, right? right? And um, one of the things that Pastor did, he had a wife and four children, and so you need to bring food, uh, put food on the table and pay the mortgage and everything. So one of the things he did was to mow lawns. And one day he was mowing a lawn and talking to, I think, the gentleman that owned the house or somebody, and he told him that, no, this is not my profession. I'm not a lawnmower, a, a, a mower. I'm not a gardener. I'm a pastor. And that man said, you've got to meet my pastor. Because Pastor Clary, he had tried to reach uh, people of all color, all nationalities, but he was not successful in reaching the black community the way he really wanted to. He had invited me to come to his church. I had gone, but I had joined a church in Fort Worth. And so um, the, the meeting between Pastor McKissick, based on the, the, the recommendation of this man, Pastor McKissick and Pastor Clary met. And that was a divine appointment because that led to Tate Springs sponsoring Cornerstone as a plant church from 1983 to 1986. And so Cornerstone moved from the garage to the Ch Tate Springs the Chapel. Brandon Chapel, yeah, Tate Springs. Okay. And, um, and then from that time on, well, from that time on, every time I'd see from um, Pastor Clary now, he'd say, I need you to go to Cornerstone. You need to go to Cornerstone. I want you to meet Dwight McKissick and Vera. You love them. He said, now, I know you're in Fort Worth, and I'm not trying to steal you from your church. If I was going to steal you, I'd steal you to my church. But you need to meet Dwight, is the way he'd say his name. Dwight. <laughs> so um, when a property came available, Pastor Clary and the Tate Springs Church underwrote the loan for the five acres and that little red church on Roosevelt. That church and Pastor Clary paid half of the almost $4,300 monthly mortgage until Cornerstone was able to pick that up and pay it themselves. And then they did that again. They underwrote the loan for the 39 acres that we are on right now. And also the construction of Building B, and that's why in Building B you'll see the name Charles Clary Fellowship Hall in that building. Pastor said that from 1983 to 1986, Tate Springs, under Pastor Clary, along with some of the Southern Baptist, other Southern Baptist entities donated roughly $300,000 to this church. That's a major impact, y'all. That's a faithful friend. So he's gone home to be with the Lord. We rejoice in his gain. Um, in Psalms, it says, all the days of my life are written in your book before one of them came to be. And in uh, Timothy, Paul says, I've run the race. I fought the good fight. It is now time for me to take hold 
of, um, I think it was the, the righteousness, that, um, the, the crown of righteousness that was set aside for him. So we rejoice in his gain, even as we pray for the family who will be missing him. They will be having a uh, service at Tate Springs. It's at 4201, a little road in Arlington, and it'll be on tomorrow, the 29th, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And pastor has asked that anyone who can um, if you would just go and just your presence would, would honor the man that meant so much. He loved your pastor and he loved Cornerstone and he meant a lot, it means a lot to us here. Thank you. And keep his wife, Sister Alice, in your prayers. She was a, a strong woman right beside them. So God bless you. And now, Father, we just praise you. We exalt and magnify you. We thank you for your divine appointment so long ago and look at where cornerstone is today and we have to th thank our lord jesus and your power god but thank you for sending such a man as charles clary for such a time as this and lord as we go forward look at where we've come but where are you where are we going lord do you just we know that you will take us to uh where you want us to be and so we just Thank you for that man. We thank you that he is with you now, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that we believe that he's heard well done, good and faithful servant. And um, we just praise you and thank you for receiving such as that, such a man home. We love you, God. We worship and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we give God praise for that wonderful story? of a man who lived 